Hey guys, it's Lauren J. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. I like to do get ready with me style videos using products that are new, new to me, or just need a little bit more love in my collection. And today I get to use all three. So I am super excited. I went a little nuts and I bought a bunch of stuff and I am super excited to use all of it. So uh, spring releases have been super fun. Spring has kind of leaked into summer at this point, even though we're not even there yet in terms of weather, but if you want to see the new products that I got and how I'm going to use them, just keep watching. Okay guys, so as usual, I am going to start with my eyes. I've already done brows, I've already done my primer on my face, I have already done skincare, sunscreen, all of that. Um, so I'm just going to go right into eyes. And I am going to be using, I'm so excited about this, I'm going to be using the new Singe Brush set by Anjelica Nyqvist. I am so excited that she launched her brand with brushes. I can't wait to see what she comes out with next. I've been following her for a really long time, one of my favorite YouTubers, and I trust her when it comes to brushes. So I am so excited that these came out. Um, and to just to be fitting, just to be go along with the theme, I'm going to go back to the Club Nebula palette from Kaleidos. This is no longer available. Um, I bought this one or two years ago. I'm not really sure. This was her collab, the Club Nebula with Anjana Kanikvist uh, from Kaleidos. And it is super fun color story. And yeah, I'm going to go more neutral with it, but I'm just also going to do some more fun stuff. I'm just a little grungy khaki today so I can't go for complete like pastel uh, goodiness I, I need to tone it I need to grunge it up a little bit but um, we're gonna use that today so there are five brushes and they are the E one two three four five so eye brushes we have the E one which is the flat tapered brush to pack on color mattes or shimmers have the E2, which is a medium fluffy brush to blend and pack color into the crease. The E3, a bigger, slightly tapered, fluffy crease brush. The E4, which is the perfect brush to blend edges or apply color with precision to the crease. Also great to brush, also great to smoke out your lower lash line. Finally, the E5, a small detailed fluffy brush to add color to the crease or outer corner without losing intensity. I'm going to start out with the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Stick in Nude Rose as my base for the eyes. I want a luminous base that's a little bit more neutral. And these Laura Mercier Eye Sticks just make really good bases. They're beautiful on their own too, but they have been my new obsession lately and I have had to fight not to go buy all of them, but they're so good. Then I'm going to take the big EO3 fluffy crease brush and just blend out the edges here. brushes are very very soft and nice on the eyes and the crease so far. Okay now I'm going to go in with the E2 which is the medium fluffy brush for packing color into the crease and I'm going to go into the of course <laughs> the lightest shade right here which is Nauru and I'm going to just go into the crease there. And that brush made it just so easy.
very impressed. Really like how that blended. So I'm going to go in with the E01, which is the one where you can pack shadow on. And let me see, I'm going to go into Nova here, which looks white in the pan, but it's actually got this beautiful pinky purple shift to it and looks very purpley. That picks up very nice. I have not used these shades in a really uh, long while, but look at that. That's super pretty. Obviously a little bit messy because, you know, it is a big old shimmer shade, but I am really, wow, yeah. Very pretty. This brush is nice because it's not hard, but it really does just get in there with these shades like this that are a little bit, see, messier. <laughs> um, I could probably use a spray or something, but I don't typically tend to do that just because with my lids, they're automatically going to crease or they just, I just don't like the way that wet shadows feel on my lids. The cream sticks are fine, but wetting a shadow just doesn't feel good to me, so I don't tend to do it. I think that looks super luminous and a little bit pastel and very bright. We're going to go in with the E5, which is for the outer corner or adding colors to the crease. And I'm going to go into the darker purple here, which is Cylon, which is actually not super deep when you swatch it. I'm gonna add that the outer V here and bring it in a little bit. Give a nice depth. That's blending out really pretty. One thing I really learned from watching Angelica over the years is just to enjoy your makeup, have fun, play. Which, I mean, you don't have to buy everything, which, look, I still do buy everything. Um, that's, you know, who I am, but I can, I have found ways to play with new and old, incorporate new things into my collection by making them work with things that I already have. And it's just super, she's always just been super inspirational to me in that sense, the way she just is adventurous and will go out with like a bright green eye or, you know, something totally inappropriate for daytime, but totally appropriate for her, so. And I like that idea that you can wear whatever kind of makeup you want and let people stare if they want. Who cares? I think we need more of that in makeup. And trust me, there is a time for subtleness. There is a time when I want to be toned down. Today is not that day. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite liner. This is the Hyper Easy by Maybelline in Pitch Brown. <laughs> And then, because my skin has been loving it so much, I'm going to go into the Laura, Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the color Cameo, and it is the mini. And this is the Rose Ink Foundation Brush. I have to say, I was very impressed yesterday. I was working in the garden and, you know, I don't tend to overdo it. I'm not a super physical, <laughs> physical person. I don't, 
exert myself a lot, but I was, you know, bending over, using the wheelbarrow, and I had a full face of makeup on, including the tinted moisturizer, and this and the Danessa Myricks together, it, I was sweaty, I knew underneath my face I was red, but my face just looked so nice, so normal, it didn't look like it was melting, so I was just either having a really good makeup day, or this stuff is just really, really, really easy, and really dries down beautifully and stays on even when you're sweating working in the garden I don't know I don't jog so I don't know if it would work for that but I was I was very impressed at how nice this looked after all that and then the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder in one that is just to give a little bit of extra coverage and add a more powdery finish which is what that Blurring Balm Powder does all right, let's get into more of the new new, and I am super excited about this. So to start off, I have some Dior. Now, it doesn't come like this. This is just one of their little baggies that they give you with all the samples when you order from the Dior site. But I love to use these for my compacts because they don't come with, like, any velvet outer packaging. So what I picked up was the, the Forever... What are we calling these? The Forever Natural Bronze. And can we just with this packaging I this is a canvas it's cloth it's gonna get dirty if you take it anywhere you can't put this in your purse <laughs> um and look at this this is this is the Christian Dior logo that is usually on the book tote I love it so much it's got the canage stitching and it's blue it's for summer I adore it so so much and I don't have any of the Dior bronzers I love this compact because it is so slim, super slim. And it does have a mirror. And then on the inside, it has the same design, Christian Dior. And I've got the lightest shade. This is one or two. This is two light bronze. So I have not tried the Dior bronzers. I have a ton of Physicians Formula bronzers that I still need to get through, but look, I wanted it. I wanted it. No apologies. I wanted it. I'm going to use it today, even though I love this design in here, but it's also on the front here, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. This design is pretty much everywhere embossed on a lot of their face products, so I'm not too worried about it. So we're gonna see how this works for me. It's a light bronze, I assume it's gonna be fine. And I'm gonna use this ColourPop fluffy brush. Not, not much kick up, which is good, but we'll see. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is, that is very comparable to the current, uh, it's the donut bronzer from Physicians Formula that I'm using right now. Very comparable to that very very light I think you can see if you just do a like a finger swipe like that's what it looks like on my skin like very very light just a little bit of color to the face forehead well, this is not usually the bronzer or this is not usually the brush that I use for bronzer but my other one is dirty so I don't need to I could use it I just don't want to cross contaminate during the video and I can see this is already starting to wear away which makes it a little sad but again it's on the front so it's fine Yeah, very light. Probably need a different brush with it, but very light and um, just adds a little bit of definition to the face, which is fine. That's all I want right now. And again, just gonna look so pretty on my vanity, even though my vanity is overflowing because I got too much stuff. But it's fine. I can make room for this. Make room. I'm, I'm gonna make room for this. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. This is the star of the show. This is the Fantasy de Chanel, the illuminating blush from the LeBlanc Spring Collection. 
everybody's been raving about this so excited i got it yesterday in the mail i've made a couple of orders from chanel this month again i went a little nuts don't care um i will be getting the quad at some point i just really really wanted this and it was still on the website so i got it and yeah um so this is the compact and again i love that it has the box has like the pink on the side just to make it a little bit special it does come with the velvet pouch and it does come with a brush in its own pouch so you have this little thin little it's very soft and it's got the cc logo on both sides which is nice. I don't know how much I'm going to use this, but I think it's super nice. These brushes, I mean, the ones that come in the Waterfresh Tint are super nice, and they convinced me to buy the foundation brush, which is pretty much the same thing, but I, I'm not going to use this today. I'm going to use a different blush brush, but da -da -da -da, here we are, the star of the show. She, he, they are beautiful, and I cannot get over how beautiful this looks in real life. I was so afraid that I was going to get it and just be like, hmm, that's disappointing, but no. It's got this beautiful tie-dye, silver and pink. It's got the tweed in the background with the interlocking CCs. I am just, it's so stunning, so stunning. And I am super excited. So I'm just going to use this on my cheeks today because it is an illuminating blush. So blush and highlight. And we are going to use, this is a BH Cosmetics powder brush, I guess. I don't know. I've used it for blush a long time. I've used it for blush many times and it's fine. Um, so yeah, we're going to go in. $80 blush. Yeah, we're going in. First go. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm Yep, second layer, giving me what I need. Yep. Illumination and that hint of pink. So pretty. Obviously more luminous than the Water Fresh blushes, which are pretty matte, and the Lip and Cheek Balm, which is a bit dewier, but also has a, like, it doesn't look, like, super shiny on the face. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. And that's silver in it, whether, I don't know if this is an overspray or not, but this like silver, like tie dyeness in it almost gives it like a lavender touch, which I think goes really well with my eyes. But yeah, so luminous, so pretty, just, but it doesn't overdo it. Like it's not pink, it's just pink. Flush, highlight, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it with this look so much. Yep, love it, love it, love it, love it. I mean, I was gonna love it no matter what. It's 
been getting rave reviews and I'm just ready to love it. So I don't know if you feel differently about Chanel, if you feel differently about luxury makeup, you might just be like, what? But I'm just like, yep, 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 yep. And my interlocking CCs are still there for a little bit longer. Whew. Yes, very impressed. Super excited to have this in my collection. Here's some mascara. So I have my Dior Show Iconic Over Curl in Brick. This is the brick red one. And I've been wearing this. I've been I've worn this a couple times since I first used it, and it really is very pretty, very, very natural, honestly. Not it's not super evident that it's like red. It's just kind of like a nice tint for your lashes. And I think it looks beautiful with the brown liner. In this light, where it's really bright, I can obviously see more of the red, but if you just look at it, it just looks like your, nat your natural, or at least my natural lashes have some actual color to them. And that's beautiful. I love that. That's super pretty. Then we're going to go in with some more Dior. This is another bunch of samples that are new to me. This is some of their newest um, Dior Addict, the shiny lipsticks that recently they introduced like like 10 new shades or something. So I'm going to be using number 566 today, Peony Pink. When I first tried it, I didn't love the formula, but I have used it more since then. And this and the uh, Lip Maximizer, the Addict Lip Maximizer, um, I've just really enjoyed the color. Um, the longevity has been a little bit better since I've used it, which is great. Um, not obviously as a shiny lipstick and a gloss, they're not going to be super long lasting, but they do have really pretty pigment um, and really, they just really look nice on the lips, at least the colors that I've tried. Load up my brush. Dig in there. See, this is like that perfect dusty pink spring color. Not too like cutesy, but it's got enough blue and enough like brown in it. It's very like sophisticated, like not pink, it's pink. Pink almost nude. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I have a million colors like it, but it's beautiful. Love it, so pretty. Goes really well with this look, goes well with the blush, the eyes. And just so you know, these are $45 if you get them with the case and they're $35 if you can find them as a refill. Now these are on the website as refills, but they're not in stock yet, so. Okay, so this is the finished look, and I'm super excited. I love these brushes. I have not used all of them today, but they worked really, really well, and they're nice and soft, and I'm very happy for Anielica. Congratulations on Singe Beauty. I can't wait to see what else is coming. I know you're gonna kill it. The beautiful bronzer and the Fantasy de Chanel so excited that this works out for me so excited that the hype is real as usual a mix of luxury mid-range all of the things so i am super excited to bring new things into my collection and use them with older things and i'm just super excited that i get to share this with you i have a lot more things coming in a lot of them are actually gifts for my mom and my sister so i probably won't be showing them but i bought a lot of things and some of them I bought for me. So like I said, the quad, the spring LeBlanc quad will be coming soon. So hopefully I will be able to showcase that next week. It'll be after Easter, but it doesn't matter. You can wear pastels anytime. And yeah, some more, 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 more. And I know the Sephora sale is coming up. The Ulta spring sale is going on right now. So much stuff. I, I need to slow down, but I don't know that I will. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this look using new and um, new to me and needs more love. 
Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about the blush. Let me know what you think about the brushes. Let me know what you think about the bronzer. Um, and thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Any of those would be welcome, and all of them would be appreciated. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.